Hey, I'm Rock and Roll Tino. Welcome to Diverse Hearts YouTube channel where we feature musicians and creative people. Let's see who's on the show today. Today I'm here with The Apollos. Okay guys, so off the bat, I have to talk about your EP, Educated Idiots. You guys sent me your EP, and honestly, I love it. I haven't heard this kind of punk music come from the local music scene in a long time. How do you guys feel about that? Honored? Honored, okay. Yeah. It's nice to hear. I mean, we worked kind of hard for it. It took a while to get out, but, you know, like Dom said, it's just it's really cool. It's like an honor and feeling bad people listen to us. Just going against the grain, you know. Punk's not dead. You just gotta look in the right places for it. Okay. How long did it take you guys to make it? Like recording wise and stuff, mm -hmm. that took like two days in, days? in the studio. Yeah, two, so like two, two or twelve two, hours. Two full oh, days. Whoa. Yeah. Committed guys. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. A good six months of just planning on what, like, just coordinating schedules, like who has what day off, and like the three of us would be like, oh, I've got this weekend off, and then one of us like, I work that weekend. Like, yeah, that's the problem so, all the time. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> 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 all right, so you guys know each other, but you were there, misfits. Sure, yes. Over there. <laughs> I found out he's actually 19. Everyone else is kind of old over here. So how? Where'd you find him? I found him because uh, we actually played in another group before. Uh, I was in another group. I was their singer, and I was there for about six months or so. Yeah, just like that. Yeah. And around the time he he joined back, and to make a long story short, it just I was not I wasn't happy, so I decided to leave the band, continue on doing something else, doing music I wanted to do, wanted to play, have some sort of not leadership over, but have some sort of creative input. You know, just a lot of things just were shot down or just not done. You know, in a collectively time manner. So I was like, you know what, um, not gonna happen. So. The three of us came together and you know we were playing for a while and I just had this idea, I was like, why don't we get another guitar player? And sure enough, Christian was always coming to our practices, taking photos for us, making us look good with the filters, you know, shaving off the 10 pounds that the camera adds. <laughs> um, Do you want a new job? Because I kind of need that. <laughs> Do the same. And then so, all my chi -chis. So, oh, no. <laughs> if, and then... He just started, he kept coming, and I was like, hey guys, fuck it, why don't we just have Christian join the band? And we're like, yeah, he knew the songs, he liked the songs, and we told him, like, we, we uh, were driving one day, we're like, hey, Christian, how would you like to be in the Apollos? He's like, like, the cameraman? <laughs> and we're like, no, no, like, like actually being yeah, the being the member, he's like, <laughs> like, like the Instagram, like, no, be a part <laughs> of the fucking band, like, you will be in the group. Hi, I'm Josh, and I play guitar. Hi, I'm Christian, and I play guitar. What's up, guys? I'm Joey, and I play drums. Hi, I'm Dominic. I play bass. Aw, oh, sick. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, we're the Apollos. This is a song off of our EP, Educated Idiots, called Damaged. I was like, who the hell is this band? And then I looked it up, I was like, 
They're pretty good, pretty good. You should go check them out right now. Link in bio. Go check out their music right now. Right now. They're freaking amazing. <laughs> EP, what's it called again, guys? The Educated Idiots. Educated, say it one more time. Educated, Educated Idiots. Idiots. Go check it out. They're and it really relates cool to more guys. people than you know. Yeah. <laughs> you, want, you want to know something really funny? What? Um, that picture that we took uh, of the EP cover? Yeah. Um, we, were, we were putting it up, right? And... We were trying to figure out what to put, and Christian said it was something like a hallway, and said the hall was on there. So that would be cool. That was such a half assed picture. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Nice. Thanks for believing in us. Okay. Uh, he may be young, but he's spicy over there. Yeah, he is. Oh, oh, yeah. We love him. <laughs> but, anyways, we, we, put the, <laughs> we put those lockers, and we were just like, it said cannot use copyrighted images on the bottom. It was just like, did you get that from Google? Yeah, it was a stock. It's because I had a Photoshop class. Yeah. And I asked if I can use the pictures for um for a fake album cover. Oh, and okay. I half assed the front cover. It was, doing, <laughs> it was doing like ten minutes. So it was half assed, but we all loved it. Yeah. <laughs> get to show a piece of shit. Wow, it looks great. So, oh my god. I got a B for it. Hey. Only, only because of the front cover. The back was fine. Okay, I gotta ask about the nerd thing. You guys are giving me nerd vibes. Are you mm -hmm. into nerdy stuff? Yes. What's a nerdy stuff? I don't know. What's Star Wars. stuff to you? All the way. Star He's a Star Wars fan. Never seen Han Solo. Never seen Han Solo. I don't plan on watching it. Yes. Star, Star Wars. Wars um, he collects pops. A lot of them. A lot of he pops. has a lot of pops. If you guys like me, send me some. It's cool. Um, Excuse me, what? This is my show. <laughs> 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 if anyone should be getting pops, should be me. I don't have any, but like, just send them to me, alright? Yeah. Anything else? It's nerdy. Uh, I mean, I know I play. I'm a gamer, so that's what I do. My spare time when not practicing, gets mad at me for that. Like, are you playing? Are, are you practicing the song? Like, no. <laughs> Just playing Overwatch. Oh. Well, posting his Fortnite wins on the Snapchat store. Hey, that is not true. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think Dom's a. I don't know. Yeah, I guess. He's yeah. like the most normal one. one. Not really. He's the only. He's the only normal one. But what are you nerdy about? Like, what do you like, like a lot? Like retro video games. Retro video games. Yeah. Well, I got a lot of arcades. I love it. I love, I love old school arcades. Yeah. I, I cried when Nickel Nickel got torn down. Oh my god, dude. That was, that was my childhood right there. Sad, sad, sad. <laughs> yeah. What about you? Um, I don't know. Huge, huge sports fan. Played baseball on the side. Nice. I wanted to be a professional baseball player. But unfortunately, that didn't happen. So, Texas. Who are some of your musical interests, guys? The Beatles and stuff. Okay. Led Zeppelin. Black, uh, Black Flag and then Minor Thread. And it's just, it's just an endless list, kind of. Endless yeah. But those are the ones that are on top of my head. Right you know what you, who you remind me of? Sideshow Bob. No. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you guys. No. <laughs> Not a bad thing, but you know. Uh, Thin Lizzy. Oh hey. yeah. Really? That's the second time I got that. Really? Yeah. Damn, it was first. But seriously, yeah. Thin Lizzy, like, like straight um, up. What's it? Phil. Mm -hmm, Phil. Thank you. I need, I need to have like a, the earring. Yeah, exactly. With the leather jacket and everything. Mm. Just be in the movie bag. There you go. Right? Mm -hmm. yeah. I should just join them. <laughs> yeah, I should just be in that freaking band. No, you seriously do give me like the movie bag. I was just like looking at you like, I know that guy somewhere. Right, what about you guys? Um, for me, definitely, it's the Beatles. That's what I grew up listening to. A lot of classic rock, um, old school. Uh, 70s metal. Nice. So I grew up, you know, in my house, my dad's a big Beatles fan, so I grew up loving the Beatles. I uh, listened to Maiden. I probably listened to all these bands before I could say my first word. Like, he wasn't teaching me my math homework, like 2 plus 2. He's like, run to the hills! I'm like, ah! <laughs> so, but then, as I... <laughs> and then as I got older, into high school, into later adolescence, um, I discovered more of the the punk genre, so I grew up, I, my favorite punk band is Bad Religion, uh, Descendants, Black Flag, you know, the list goes on, a lot of the old school ones, and I mean, that's for me when it comes to influences. Totally can tell, look at that tattoo, can we look at that tattoo right there, look at that, and then we got a Misfits on the other side, Bad Religion right there, look at that, <laughs> stop hitting it! Ow! Misfits, I'm sure it's sponsored me. Get it soon. <laughs> um, Beatles, like they said, I have to say it. So um, right now it's mostly like Twenty One Pilots uh, issues. What the? Sorry. Nothing. <laughs> he could like other stuff. Jeez. Uh, 
Um, AFI. Nice. Like, Metallica, Mother Crew. Alright, music <laughs> Um, My musical interest, I started listening to punk and all that stuff when I was in high school. Mm -hmm. My musical interest is Crown the Empire. Huge, huge fan of them. Uh, Three Days Grace is what started everything off for me. Mm -hmm. um, the Used, uh, Knuckle Puck is actually a really good um, band that I like now. Um, all those like singing stuff, <laughs> like uh, yeah, Pierce the Veil, sleeping, just basically those post hardcore stuff. That's what I am super into. You know what? That kind of makes sense because in this band, I could hear that. Can you? Wow. Yeah. You guys, cool. I love that you guys love different kinds of music because it brings different elements and makes who you guys are, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Don't you think you kind of bring like a little hardcore to Yeah. Music? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then with you guys, like, I get a little, like, you know, softer sides from you, you know, punk. Classic rock, of course, you can hear that. Mm. But then you need, like just hardcore right there. Yeah. So I actually try to I try to emulate my drumming style after uh, one of my favorite bands, Cable Fries Against, mm -hmm. um, because it's 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 like a new school punk, and they kind of kept it going for years and years and years. So I try to emulate my style after that. Yeah. What are some bands that you played with that deserve more attention? Who oh, fuck go? <laughs> Half breed from my age. Half breed. <laughs> what can you say? Other band that you played with, you're like, okay, this band is so cool, they need more people. Sunset Couriers. Sunset Couriers? Definitely. I was just about to say that too. I say, uh, I don't know if I'm going to say I'm right, uh, Picasso the Banshee. Damn it, Banshee. I was going to say that. <laughs> is that how you say it? Yeah, Picasso, Picasso the Banshee. They're more of like on the pop punk side, but like, they still, hey, they, they sound good. Yeah, they're really good, they're, they're just really fucking cool ass. cool ass group of dudes, like, it's awesome. It was really fucking fun to play with. True vibes, locked forever. Locked forever. <laughs> the yeah. bands I'm in. <laughs> 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 promo, promo. <laughs> <laughs> Kill three birds with one stone, you got this. That's like all their interviews right there. <laughs> <laughs> right? Um, what are some bands that you want to play with, that you haven't played with yet in the local scene? Right now, you could talk to them and be like, hey, I want to play with you right now. Definitely, I'm definitely looking forward to playing with Cosmo Banshee. That's, that's for sure. Uh -huh. um, I do want to play with Sunset Curious again, too. Those guys are awesome. Oh, she could have done that show, please. I mean, the more the better. So. Yeah. I'll go with TV Puppet House. <gasps> yeah. They're great. Nice, <laughs> cool people. What's up, dude? Okay. I'd say um, they're not really a part of our scene, but I would love to play with Takers and Evers again. Oh, dude, dude. Yeah. Oh, we'll play with them. This next song is called My Ex is a Bitch. <laughs> We're the Abalas. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Spotify, iTunes, Bandcamp, Bandcamp. Uh, Soundcloud, Gears SoundCloud. SoundCloud uh, Christian Mingle, uh, Pornhub, BlackPeopleMeet.com. Uh, I wrote the Pornhub page. Farmers Only. Farmers Only, that's another one. Coffee Meets Bagel, that one's going too. <laughs> This <laughs> <laughs> is like years before like this. This is like <laughs> Get out of here. Yeah. Taste the particles. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> this is what's on the surface, you guys can see what goes on in the back. Thank you. Okay, we'll leave it up right there. So that's <laughs> 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 We're going to try and make you laugh as much as we can. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe so you never miss a video.